Hello and good day. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive in Legendary Iron Man, Yellow Alert, Double Enemy, Squad Side, a better infant and around 90 other mods that make our life a living hell. And a living hell it surely is. We are in month number six. The hive <clears throat> is producing more and more hardcore missions and one of our mods that we installed the side mission mod advent side missions is uh, very close to getting the side mission called recursor through which would uh, be creating kind of a mixture between a specter and the mech i really don't want to see that thing which apparently can deep clone one of your soldiers or even the entire squad, who knows? I really don't want to see it, so we will sabotage the transmitter, which will be uh, quite a uh, quick, uh, more time intensive mission. But it's not only that we're, uh, that a lot of is on the line, but there's also a small feral chrysalid group broken away from Advent, um, then they will be there and psionic uh, squads with extra super mega death power will be there as well. So we're bringing the best soldiers that we currently have available, a couple of majors. I still am trying to quote unquote carry the mid game just by having that A team. God knows what would ha happen if we're actually losing this uh, team. I am already quite scared about any losses on the high level. So these guys more or less should be at least part of uh, the uh, A team or A squad. And the idea is to get them to colonel level and then slowly but surely start uh, training up other soldiers because realistically we will lose a lot of soldiers even in the end game. At least that's what I'm expecting. So might as well have a few replacements and kind of focus the training on a few individuals. Today, Grell, Sonar, Dilly G, Cannon, Hawkbite and Shadow will go in. And it's going to be great. A few items of note. We bring a lot of different ammunitions, improved Viper rounds, uh, Tail rounds, Dragon rounds and uh, Cannon needs to hit and hit a lot. I am wondering if that's the right choice or if I should go blue screen rounds. Not sure yet. Uh, I am tending towards better hit chance uh, so that we are not requiring high ground. Additionally, healing uh, as well as two mine shields. I built a second mine shield because we saw that there are uh, there is the hunt, which apparently is kind of a, a psionic hunting squad. Yeah, and the bandits are irrelevant at that point. They are really not that strong. Uh, we will. Uh, infiltrate the bandit hideout as soon as we do have time for that for now we just got to deal with whatever is being thrown in our way and i sincerely hope uh, we are going to do our best to actually kill them wish me luck guys as we will definitely need it okay and we landed so let's see how this mission is going to develop. My gut tells me we're going to be in in a lot of trouble, not even two rounds from now. I could at least stop the network separation with the Reaper, I guess. So if we play our cards right, at uh, least that should work out well. So that's the good news. Wow, Andromedons and a lot of mechs. Should have brought the blue screen rounds. Good, we're indeed... Wow, the detection radius is crazy. All right, we're moving. Look, Cannon needs to get up here. The problem that I'm seeing is none of these fields are really safe.
but we need to position him close to high ground because that's going to be our that's going to be our get out of jail card i think this here is actually the closest other than roby's position And finally, Grell. Got it moving. Okay, good. Not a perfect first turn, but one that works out reasonably well. All right, feral hive activity. Let's see. What are these bugs doing? <laughs> okay. Camera shortly changes to kind of uh, the next the next stage and reveals about a hundred aliens. Good, let's take the high ground here. Dilly G moves up. Very good. All of that is unfortunately taken. Hogbite moves to here. We're soon going to engage. Sonar does the same. Rel moves to here. This you know should not trigger anyone, it's just for scouting purposes. The invaders sent a patrol. Alright, cool. Well I will go. We'll go to here and let these guys dunk it out. Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. It's definitely going to be on. Elite priests are triggering. So I can attack anything that passes by. Juvenile uh, queen yet again. All right, these perch guys are definitely the natural counter to the chrysalids. Lots of short-range uh, reaction possibilities. Good, and as long as we're staying somewhat out of uh, the fight, we should actually be fine. <laughs> he has already attacked three times with his blade storm. Gets a lot of value out of it. Four armor and 13 hit points are crazy. You think about it, he's as tough as kind of a mech.
I wish I would know what that scanning ability is. Potentially detects enemies? I don't know. Wow, that wow, that was a nice pair of rockets. Good, now it's the Feral Hive's turn. And as always, Advent uh, gets a few shots, but uh, they are now killing civilians. And not civilians, bandits, but almost civilians, like they are as harmless as civilians. So, point being, there will be more chrysalids. <laughs> Two brood mothers. All right, that guy should not only get kinetic plating, but he should have a lot of strikes. I think we gotta nuke this cluster here. It's just too many hit points. The brute mothers need to die, and so does uh, the Juno Queen. Do we have a needle ripper? No, we don't. Gotta look out for those guys. Uh, their automatic explosion is helpful. Yeah, you should never attack the cocoon. Just accept that the cocoon is going to spawn. And then that's that. Okay, cool. Well... Come on. Well, that's as far as we can throw it. Not bad. I would have guessed we can throw it not as far as that. So that's actually a really decent uh, hit. 8 points of damage. Does not reduce our concealment. Wow, we definitely should have brought... We definitely should have brought blue screen rounds. This is pathetic. Euler gets an overwatch. Hayward protocol. Yeah, let's get that advent spark. Come on, I need it. Oh, that's that's very unlikely, but it's a great reward. Come on. Yeah. Wasn't happening. Unfortunate. Good, we got a couple of options here. I am thinking about how we can get these guys down. Problem is, they have way too much armor and this is almost not going to take anything away from them.
But we do have Salvo uh, now, which could be a nice little start. Oh, look at that. Euler with the great action economy shreds them. Nice, nice. Moving up, do not cluster up too much. And that's a decent crit chance, not overwhelmingly good, but okay. And with that, we can start killing this guy here. How many hit points? I should have definitely, definitely brought uh, blue screen rounds because then the robots at least wouldn't be such a big dilemma. I'm just trying to kill someone. Won't be that difficult. All right, Hogbite moves in. This is all just to soften them up a little bit more. Oh, they do have Hellweave armor. Interesting. So we're taking damage just for doing our job. Okay, cool. Perry. So this guy is down to 7 hit points, but we're not dealing enough base damage. Alright, I am looking for a face off here. So. What are we dealing with? That would be that 7 plus 2, that's 9. Enough damage likely to get him low. Maybe. Okay, we're, we can't even see all of them. Which means we're wasting a turn just to move over here. That's unfortunate. All right, softening up the bio trooper. Yes. Who immediately turns into a bio faceless one. Great. Love it. That's what we want to see. And now face off to get everybody in kill range. Okay, cool. Now, time to clean this up. One down. Two down. How many hit points? Five, seven. That's not an automatic kill. Six, eight. That's not an automatic kill either. Can't risk to let all of them live. So it's a bit of a waste for chain shot, but. My regrets is not to take, uh, not to take uh, blue screen rounds, which I originally wanted. This might be a kill. All right, 
and this is softening him up for next round. Oh, we even got an Overwatch. Elite Priest casts Elder's Cleansing. Oh, look at that. The Viper King sits right on the target. All right, come on. Melee attack. No, he prefers to hit a couple of chrysalids with acid. I like it. Good choice. You have more uh, uh, rockets. Go and hit these guys. Yes, there you go. Fantastic. Root mothers just died. No, not died. Almost died. Okay, reminder to myself. I won't uh, compromise on the whole blue screen round uh, rounds again. Nice. It is disoriented. The shield is actually good uh, now that Bladestorm works with uh, with it. Whoa. The two biggest aliens begin to get into a fight. I love it. Root Mother versus the Viper King. Okay, some alien really, really moves out of uh, out of bounds here. Good. Bandit Heavy Gunner has been killed somewhere off screen, clearly. He was trying to hide, but that really didn't work out for him. Okay, so the next Brute Mother walks really far off screen. Interesting fights. I'm wondering who would win, the Snake King or the Juvenile Brood Mother. Depends, I think, whether or not the Snake King can actually uh, bind uh, her. Both have the ability to uh, to use cold, but I think the Snake King is immune to cold, so uh, he might have a slight advantage. On the other hand, he has no means of healing himself, and and the Brood Mother. So the actual Jewel Nile Brute Mother uh, regains two hit points for every hit that she takes. So there's a lot of sustainability with her. Good, they're doing us a favor. In the meantime, the Viper King's entourage is getting hit heavily. Almost all of the bandits are already dead. Good. We could hand over an action. First things first here. Let's just get some of uh, the chrysalids out of the way. So 
So we got an Advent Spark right there, right? Eight point, uh, eight hit points seems. Like, that's a bit too much for us. If we're charging in, then the Viper King would see us. Matter of fact, the Viper King is currently seeing us, so this might trigger a reaction. Is he going to come over? Is he just going to remain there? Okay, cool. Well, enough other enemies are there I'll definitely use teamwork just so that we can soften up the max a bit more again I regret not bringing sufficient firepower with me nice hit love it really good I'm just buying us time at this point. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. Very good. Look at that, he just freezes all of them. Cool. Good Andromedon. Nice. Fantastic. Let's parry here. Andromedon gets killed. And now blue screen rounds would again be perfect because we would deal a lot of damage. But since we're in such a nice flow, might as well continue the onslaught here. Euler's doing a really good job. He's carrying a lot of this run with uh, Death from Above. Good. We're just switching positions mainly because I would like to be able to bombard the queen. And the uh, king at the same time. They are immune to poison, you donut. There's the parry we were hoping for. Great. Good. Now it's time for the feral hive. Let's see what the queen is doing. If they could start shredding him, that would be great. Good. One brute mother is still alive. At least one brute mother is still alive. Those little rippers, I think, can shred his armor. Now his movement is crippled. 
Infecto goes to town on him. If they kill him for us, that would be fantastic because I think they will not trigger his gate ability because he doesn't get a ruler reaction when they are pouring down on him. That being said, I think the, uh, the chrysalids are getting the upper hand here, which I don't like, so we gotta intervene and kill a couple of chrysalids. Reloading and let's just soften this guy up. Good. Again, Euler reloads and let's just get him for now. Good, this should equally penalize all of the chrysalids. Could hit him, but it would be a bit too dangerous. We're just moving out of uh, cover. Nice. Good shot. Do something meaningful with the action. We could get both of these. problem that I'm seeing is we would expose ourselves to some more of the chrysalids and I really like our positioning here unfortunately the chrysalids still can and will likely get to us so might as well just take the high ground um, we will use the reaper if necessary uh, to um, engage with the enemies all right that would be four a hit of four enemies including the elite officer it's not killing as many of the bugs as i would be hoping for but it's a really solid explosion and it takes away the armor from the Viper King. Shreds him for three. That is exactly the type of damage that we want to uh, get onto him. Stasis on the Junal Queen? No, on a random ripper. Good job. Prime target selection at work. Love it. All right, so this guy is down to one HP and is burning. He should die. Yep, keep killing them. That's good. Now it's it's the hive's turn. We have two more shots in our kill zone. I'm hoping that uh, we will hit them. All right, the group mother again is just running off screen. Yep. 
They are currently pretty much going to town on uh, the on uh, the uh, prince king rather. I wonder we haven't had any others uh, any other uh, shots of the sniper trigger more chrysalids are spawning we're okay timing wise, I'm still fine. Blade Storm? No. Just the sniper shot. Nice, nice. Good, we can, we can uh, kill both of them. So this is getting his focus levels up. Damn it. I will need to run out and that means that thing will escape. I have really no great option to stop him from it. Yeah, the problem is there is no great alternative here. He will likely escape because I don't want to get shot in, in the back. And once again, like Houdini, the great escape. Implacable triggers. Sona moves up. Untouchable and implacable in this case. Hogbite could move up, but uh, we can just chill here for now. Um, yeah, these uh, containers could be destroyed. Cannon gets that extra overwatch. Soon we need to start moving in. Timer is still okay, but it's growing a little bit thin now. Reload overwatch. Did he just mind control a little drone, like a ripper? Okay, cool. That's cute.
dive bombs his own uh, his own companion. Good. They start to spot us out, which is good. Bring them on. There are about 10 of those smaller hunters. Let's get that queen. Nice hit. Our front line stays very focused and hunter hive queen ripper let's go with this might as well damage a couple of them Okay, no idea where that other mutant is at. I am on the move. But we can see most of them and that should trigger the pack overall. Good, 100% hit. Another overwatch. Back in. Reload overwatch. And we still have a couple of network devices that we can kill. Good. The mutants trigger the last chrysalids, which is great. And yeah, be my guest, Honor Guard. Okay, still closer than I would have expected. Okay, we could have Blade Storm, yep, and a nice shredding shot. And the game, again, does not seem to like what we're doing. Let me fix that real quick. Good. Fixed it, replayed it exactly as before. And now let's hope that the AI does a very similar or exactly the same thing. Not exactly the same, but similar. 
They are shredding that queen. Good. So far, so good. That chrysalid jewel, uh, chrysalid jewelin, uh, brood mother, is taking a lot of heat. It has only, I think, one armor left now, and once we are moving through those other chrysalids we should be fine there's one more brood mother and once she dies the whole breeding hopefully will stop definitely should be one of our priority targets she's just pumping out a crazy amount of these normal drones Oh, he's straight up melee resistant. Interesting. Yeah, they are focusing on in single individual targets. And are effectively trying to just get them down. And then spawn more chrysalids. That's not smart. Uh, that's not uh, dumb, I mean. That's actually quite smart. Okay, we do have two more transmitters over here. Which we will definitely need to pull because we're running out of time. Good, going in a bit deeper with Hogbite this time. These here are the transmitters. Nice, disoriented uh, the chameleon. But we could move to here next turn. Sonar is having a solid position here. I'm just going to extend our time a few more turns. Could move over here and then take the high ground next turn. Hmm, not the worst idea. I think if we can position ourselves here, we can actually kill quite a few targets. I need to slowly but surely become a bit more aggressive. All right, moving up. And Overwatch. I go where you tell me. 
slowly but surely making our way to the actual target. Interestingly enough, we can hack it very soon. We could parry here. We know there is an enemy right here. We could also go up here. Which is really, really, really far away. Completely out of line of sight. Hard to get to, but very easy to jump down and get these guys so I'll try that yeah take the brute mother out nice good job Good. Unfortunately, they have figured out where exactly we have been standing. Luckily, it's just suppression. Okay, this is bad. Well, now we're ruptured. That is indeed quite bad. I don't know how to counterplay the chameleons. I think battle scanners would potentially work. Who's keeping score? Guardian, yeah, keep keep on going. Nice. Good job, Rel. Love Guardian. You can't handle me. Still Guardian. Ooh. But the priest is sooner or later going to die. I have no hopes for him to survive that in the long term. We are ruptured. That means three more damage from every single hit that uh, we're taking. Can't really hit anyone. Our sniper needs to get into a better position, one that has more aiming angles. Unfortunately, he does not have enough movement yet again. I regret not taking the uh, climbing suit, um, the grappling suit with us. I think this here should work. Tenshi is going to set us on fire. Oh wow, I forgot. I forgot. We are ruptured, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, next turn we can climb up. All right, I'll go. A 
Let's get this guy. Alright, good hit. What? What? What are we even talking about? You're not panicking, my dude. Fuck is wrong with you, Euler? Good, back to give him some teamwork. And let's kill this guy. Thank you, Euler. Much appreciate that. Two more turns. I really get to the honor guard. We are immune to burning, so this here should be fine. But we're not burning, it's just the hell we've armed more damage. Can't kill the juvenile queen. We will wait for now. Unless we absolutely must blow our cover, we're good. Yeah, he was trying to mind control us, but dude, we got mind shields. Or he tried to mind control someone else. Maybe I was wrong. I think I'm okay with him actually missing that. Good. The priest is still standing there in the middle of all of these chrysalids. He's exceptionally tanky. I know, Redford. Thank you for letting us know. Really, I would have never, seriously never guessed if you wouldn't have just told me. moves in that guy still has seven hit points I'll go into parry mode and we'll just stay right here on a guard can do whatever they want I don't mind. That should be a kill. But sometimes you're just not getting that kill that you deserve.
One, two, three. I think we're just saving our face off for now. Good, we're extending the timer. And I think that's as much as we can extend. Apparently there is still, I, I'm still seeing a two hit point sign, but I think that's just a graphical glitch. Not sure if there is still a transmitter, but I, I believe we have uh, gotten them all. Billy G takes an aid protocol just to make him less of a target. And Grail reloads. Can't believe that that's uh, that that guy is still alive. Right, he's taking a lot of damage from the chrysalid poison. So is the priest. Well, and finally... They got the better of him. Of course, Hogbite is uh, this time the one that they are focusing. Okay, fair enough, they are focusing everybody. Damn it, that was part of our armor. Okay, we can definitely disconnect the Spire this turn. Moving, out. Moving up. And let's shred the brute mother okay so we can clean the entirety here just requires the right setup Face off. Basically, it's a nice setup to get everybody warmed up. Honor guard down to five plus one. That'll be a kill. I think I want to make sure that we're that we can block that Juno Queen. Wow, 
Wow, we're dealing a lot of damage. Now that we're... Pretty much maxed out with... Uh, with our focus. Alright, Grell overwatches. Nice hit. A little bit of shredding would have been also great. Not sure if we can kill it. We can. That's good. And now Overwatch because the Queen will arrive. There we go. Her last armor had been shredded. Good. So far, so good. I think we can handle the queen. She's isolated and quite weak in that state. Plus, she does not have any armor anymore. Popbite's damage is becoming really good. Carrying, okay. Thankfully, Implacable still works like a charm. Moving up to another portion of high ground and... I think as a sniper we can also move up here. Overwatch. We are re-stealthing. And we're overwatching. Alright, cool. I think one more chrysalid over there and we should be good. Alright, never mind. It's three more chrysalids, but I think we're still going to be fine. Quite a busy fight, actually, but compared to the others that we had, this one was almost tame. We had the really, really strong position. Let's feed Hogbite some more kills. He can use it. Now nah, we're just overwatching. Reload overwatch. Okay, that other guy, uh, that other chrysalid will come and potentially the last one will be born and then it should be over. There we go. I got it, right? Uh, 
All right. Hawk Bite, come on, get a promotion. There we go. There we go. Seventy-seven enemies. Good work, Commander. <laughs> Hardcore. Good. With the with the current armor and the higher levels, um, i.e. major, we are starting to get enough firepower, specifically with death from above, to kind of stand our own ground. However, let's not get cocky. These missions will become much, much more difficult. We still are at force rating in and around 12 13 maybe 14 plenty of room to grow officially it is mid game and the game at this point if we wouldn't have rushed um, the armor would expect that you're running around with predator armor and laser weapons that's it maybe a little bit dabbling into technology left and right but besides the two uh, breakthroughs that we have researched We've almost exclusively gone for the straight upgrade path. So we're actually still ahead of uh, the normal research curve. And the normal enemies that you would see is this mission would have presented you with the first Andromedon. Ooh. Good, we got another Queen's Corpse. Disabled Scanner. Great. So we counted that site uh, goal. No recursor anytime soon. And 120 Intel. Which we might want to use for weapon. Uh, enhancements because our weapons sure need some love the supplies are good as well if I'm not mistaken we wanted to do the Illyrium crystals so black market first we got 160 intel Yeah, superior scope. It's not even. I don't even need to think about that. Superior perception. Hmm. Yeah, the superior hair trigger is good as well, but not necessarily worth 30 intel at this point. The other two definitely were worth it. More Larium. I could see that. Because we need the Illyrium for the weapon upgrades. Might as well buy it now. In terms of selling. No. Nothing in high demand that we got more, uh, more of than I'm willing to part ways with. So we'll get a lot of alloys and Illyrium crystals here. Supplies is still on on the weaker side. We need to deal with that. But we do have a PCS uh, perception. Cannon already has his. Sona superior health. That's fine for now. Superior speed. Anders uh, could use it, From what I've seen, you... but I think we could give it to another Grenadier, and I think Zirkim is the second highest. Slicinator. Uh, Slicinator. Oh, he's together with Russ. Well, that's a good combination. All right. Wow, plus 20 aim. That is so good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think he also has plus 20 aim, which is why he's at those crazy high numbers now. And he has a superior scope, yeah. Nice, very nice. Um, I think giving him that, yeah, we don't have uh, we don't have uh, the trade yet, so I don't want to waste anything. There is a, a resistance order that allows you to exchange them without uh, destroying the other PCS, so. Look, Zirkim is still lieutenant, so he's the second highest, which kind of proves my point. Congratulations. Just got yourself up to 99 intel, um, 99 hit. That's good. We need those uh, grenadiers to be incredibly precise, because we will need a way of shredding through tons and tons of armor. So having at least one of them will be mandatory for most of the missions or AP armor, uh, AP ammo. We got 53 Illyrium crystals. That is great. <laughs> the game is offering us even more alloys. Boy, we have we we have plenty of alloys. Thank you. I think what we will need is supplies. So. I would actually go for these at the moment. With the income together, we might be able to upgrade one piece of weaponry. All negative traits removed. That's good. Do we have another one? Yes, please. Let's just get rid of all of the negative traits. We're doing fine. Might as well use that in our advantage, to our advantage. And I'm surprised that we're seeing such a low amount of missions really everything has been pushed uh, pushed out commander the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar project if we're going to slow them down we'll need to move fast good we've just finished resistance comms which allows us not only to remove the resistance order because we can switch that out towards the end of the month but we can also stock an uh, a resist um, an engineer here to get enough contacts to finally go and uh, conquer more territory tactical analysis oh i want that i want that so bad pursue of knowledge would be 20 percent research bonus I think volunteer army with uh, mm, no that's uh i was looking for double agent double agent could be cool in this uh, game mode because there are so many op units and getting an advent with like six armor and whatnot that would be certainly a great addition to the team i think though we actually might find ourselves pushing into the territory here we make contact, that's a lot of intel. We could make contact and build a radio relay and start kind of making our way really through all of um, all of Asia. That would give us access to tactical analysis and tactical analysis is a fantastic, just absolutely astonishing uh, advantage for us Commander, there were a few the this year will be one of our new uh, resistance orders remove one block of avatar progress so that is going to be incredibly important and now we got a promotion here and basically the hunt for this guy which I would love to take so Everybody else is tired. Let's wait one more day and then we're 
starting with that we just need to finish being tired and supply drops in two days so we're good Still tired. Wow, 120 intel. Investigate the fishing town disturbance. Is that maybe Newfoundland part two? It certainly smells like that. Still unable to do that. Um, I want one of the majors to be promoted. That's why I'm so keen on. And matter of fact, I actually want Dilly G to be promoted um, because then the, the sniper tends to be one of the most uh, prolongated and uh, and and long journeys through major. Just takes them forever to get promoted so i would uh, i would love to promote him but i need another major to start this mission and the supply drop is happening soon so gotta be careful here this looks an awful lot like a custom mission again I like the extra supplies and also the intel. Oh, you still tired? Nah, I want the promotion. We got another potential promotion here, but I don't want to waste 10 days. That one is great as well, and we get ability points. Let's just double check one more thing. So an extra armor would come in handy for him. As for Dilly G, let's just give him death from above. It was so often that I wished that I would be having death from above. It's just a good ability and covering fire by the way is also a fantastic ability for a sniper specifically with kill zone lightning reflexes is good uh, for oiler kill zone is good as well I like it dead eye isn't bad because it would give him another option for death from above just to continue kind of um, uh, resetting volatile mix would be good as well because it would allow his grenades to deal more damage and does it shred one more okay not an additional shredding but it's a great skill as well uh, he certainly i could sink a lot of points into him dead eye seems like a kind of quick and meaningful upgrade because it will continue our death from above chain
covering fire isn't bad for Roby. I like it, but implacable would be better. Willing to put three points from the pool in uh, into that. Okay, many of the others haven't seen action in a while. For instance, the skirmisher whom I promised to bring on to more missions. But, you know, it is what it is. I wanted to survive. I'm not ashamed to, to say that. And currently survival means having an A-team that actually does a good job. Currently said A-team is not available, so we're going to see the B-team, but basically same po uh, same point all right can't use that sniper endors is on bond training you know what? We could really do the bond training afterwards, dude. You two could be much needed in the mission because the A-team is not there. There's a place at a time for everything and now is not the bond training. So yeah, I'll put the team together. Plasma Rifle uh, will be the next big invention. And that's really it, guys. If you feel like this has gone on longer than expected, and if we're making better progress than expected, then leave a comment down below. I appreciate uh, interacting with you, and see you all in Operation Fading Gift in two days. Bye-bye.